Hi, this is Anusha from UV Associates Chatin, and you are watching part 8 of the Blender tutorial series Blending Made Easy. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to make cool 3D text with Blender. Let's delete our default cube here and add text. Now, let's change this text by going to the edit mode of the text object. Press tab and hit backspace till you have removed the default text completely and now type in your own text and tab again to move out of the edit mode. Okay, now rotate your view to see that this text right now has got no width. In the editing panel, go to Curves and Surface and hit the slider over here to give it an extrude value of 0 0.20 and a bevel depth of 0 0.30. Let's make the bevel resolution of 16. Now, let's go back to the top view. You can change the font of this text by clicking on load over here. Now I have my default fonts directory set to C Windows font. You can set your default directory by clicking here, dragging this down and in the user preferences window go to file paths and set the default directory over here. This will be saved if you select save user preferences from here save default settings but make sure you are in the default scene while saving it as the current scene will become your default scene okay we are not going to change the font for this particular text object right now but there are some other settings like spacing between the character characters lines etc you can play around with them to choose whatever suits your needs Change the camera view to the current view. Control Alter Numpad 0. And now let's scale this object down so that it fits in our camera. And let's do a render. So we do have 3D text but it's not actually emphasizing on the 3D effect. So let's make some modifications. Press R for rotation followed by X to rotate along X axis and key in 27 for giving it a 27 degree rotation along the X axis and left click. Now press R again and on Y axis key in 28 and then enter and then R Z let's make it 2. Enter. Let's scale this up a bit and render again. Now you have the 3D effect visible. Let's go to the scenes panel and change this to image editor again. Alright now, time to give it a nice material. Click on add new and let's give it a nice bright yellow material. There. Now let's render again. Now, it's 3D and all, but it's still not bright enough. It's pretty dull. So let's go to the lamp. Let's select the, uh, select the lamp over here and create, convert it into sun lamp in the shading panel and the lamp button sub panel. 
and increase the energy make it 1.5 let's render again there now we'll go to the material buttons again the shading panel and then let's go to the world buttons and change this color to a light background of say an orangish color and let's click on blend over here all right now this object still looks a bit plain so let's apply a texture to it now we'll go to our texture buttons over here add new and here let's select wood you can see the preview over here if I click on alpha then it will show me the alpha value that the texture has now let's go to map to tab in the materials panel and change this color to a blue all right now for having these stripes as sharper ones let's go to this texture buttons and select saw from here render now hmm that's much better now let's go to map input and select win it paints as if this were a 2d object and it's painting the window quite boring let's select global instead and object now what if I want to have more than two colors for this these stripes we'll use color ramps for that in the last tutorial I could not take up the color ramps so there you are so we'll go to the texture buttons and then go to colors and click on color band here you have the color band we can do this is similar to the gradient in the 2d programs Control left click to add a new color stop and you can change the color from here and then we can also change the transparency value so let's make it a dark blue and then render again so I have basically chosen these colors and this is the final image that I got just have a look at my color band you can even adjust the width of these stripes so there you are thanks for watching and happy blending